Okay, so Christo Lukov uh, was a very controversial figure that between 1935 and 1938 was Minister of War. He has been, his name has been implicated in corruption scandals. Uh, basically, to put it simply, he was receiving money from the Germans, from Nazi Germany, obviously, at that time. Even, another thing which is even more controversial is that about for about a year before his uh, assassination, he was assassinated beginning of 1943, he was the chair of Bulgarian National Legions, which is uh, an organization which has expressed very, I would say, strong anti-Semitic uh, ideas, racist ideas, xenophobic ideas, sympathies uh, towards uh, fascism in Italy. So from that perspective, obviously, this was, he was quite, quite controversial. of these critics are based on lies that uh, communists, uh, uh, communist propaganda said about the general to uh, dishonor him. Uh, but in reality, there are no historical facts that support all of these lies. Like for five years, it is proven that they always break the law because there's uh, international pressure. For them it's more important uh, what we will uh, say in the American Embassy mm -hmm. than to follow the laws of our country. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course we are uh, nationalists, we want order and uh, we want uh, laws to be followed by everyone. Mm -hmm. As uh, Antifa collective, the, the only such collective in, in the country is to monitor their activity uh, and uh, to publish materials and organize on the streets uh, to counter them every year. And uh, I think uh, from what we are see seeing that uh, even though our movement is still small, uh, we are little by little consolidating, times are changing and uh, well, last year we managed the first uh, blockade, uh, on a physical blockade on the streets. <laughs> 